Hi, this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub. Uh, in this video, uh, we'll explore different ways to apply custom styling to your content uh, using the Gutenberg editor. I mean, how you can apply custom CSS to your elements. So, Gutenberg, there, there are different ways. I'll be exploring three ways here. So, uh, the first way is to apply add a custom CSS to your blog and then write the custom write the custom CSS using the customizer additional CSS uh, window. So let's try this. So Gutenberg lets you add or apply assign a custom CSS class on any Gutenberg block while you're editing. You can go to the advanced section here and apply a custom class to this particular block. So let's try to do this. I'm editing this text block and I'll just apply it a red text class for the demo and update it. Now I'll write the CSS targeting this red text in my customizer. So I'll target this here dot and one second. Uh, let me refresh it. I'll go to the additional CSS and I'll write dot red text and I'll simply give it a color red. As you can see, this applies here and you can uh, actually visually see this here, which is pretty nice. And I can apply more uh, styling to this class, as you know, as you might know. I'll hit publish and I'll come here. I'll actually I'll come here and edit it refresh it sorry but this does not reflect the CSS or styling in the Gutenberg editor but if I view the page the styling gets applied here fine and in the customizer you can see that also but the downside with this approach is you do not see the styling applied inside the Gutenberg editor. I'll go and make this one also a class just to test. I'll make it a blue text. All right, I'll update this. I'll go to the customizer, refresh it. I'll, I'll add another CSS blue text and give it a color blue and you can see this applies here I'll publish it preview the page this should apply here as well as you can see but again I'll just refresh this page in the editor and nothing applies here so this is the downside of this approach but if you are okay with that you can utilize this method now another method is by allowing your uh, child theme using a child theme or uh, basically using your theme style sheet so let's explore that for that just make sure you do not uh, activate a theme a parent theme just always create a child theme so your changes to uh, your, whatever changes you are making does not uh, get replaced or matched when an update comes on the parent team so I've already created a child team for this demo I'll just go and edit edit the theme via the theme editor now what I need to do is I need to do two things basically first uh, I need to enqueue this child team CSS inside the Gutenberg editor so then so that it uh, it displays or applies the styling added in the child theme CSS file to the Gutenberg. So for that, you simply need to. I've already wrote an article tutorial also for this. So from there, uh, there are also all the all these three uh, methods mentioned. I'm just creating a video for that. So you can copy that this function here, and you need to paste it into your child themes function .php file just leave the other part as it is and I have already actually uh, did that 
here so just you need to just paste your paste the code like this here and make sure your charities style sheet is the same as mentioned here style.css style.css so that's good update the file now what this function does it adds a support editor style for your theme which is a good bug utility or, or api utility whatever you say that and then i'm enqueuing this style in the good bug editor so uh let's see now i can apply the same css which is here i'll just remove it from here i'll remove one okay let's remove this and uh, copy that and paste here the red text color now i'm saving this style sheet now the red text color is here and the blue one is here let's see which one works in the editor uh, oh, first refresh the page and you can see both works here as usual and if i refresh the editors page couldn't bug editor window uh, you see that red one is applied here fine nothing got matched here and the blue one it have not been applied because this is still in the customizer so i'll just cut that also and put it in my child team css and refresh the page here and you can see now that the styling gets applied in the editor file now this is a great way this is a great option unless your team mess any styling in the editor like i mentioned in the article i experimented it with the astra theme and that works also fine but it matches the ui of the block control and some other stuff so depending on the theme i've mentioned it depending on the theme you are using this method this approach might interfere with your gutenberg editors controls and styling here this is the default theme right now i'm using which is the which is the 2019 uh, child theme basically 2019 theme so this is done pretty well and this is not causing any conflict here so you can utilize this function uh, again but still with this approach you have to handle the css the, uh, or in another file or another, like like if i need to give this some styling i have to do it like this i have to give it a class uh, my code and then i need to update this and i need to go to the themes editor and then go to style sheet and then i have to write the css here let's say background background color yellow so then i have to update this and come back to the editor so uh, yet the the live preview that yet i have not uh, seen any preview here so but if i refresh the preview of, uh, is available now here because this styling has been applied now so this is the approach number two you can use this you can if you if you are uh, okay with handling the going moving and forward from different files and tabs to write your css this is pretty good the last and another approach is i'll just first go to the themes and reactivate the main theme okay and let's see if the changes is still here no because the changes were the, uh, the my work was in childhood so it's gone now uh, the another option is to using a plugin I'll provide the link for the plugin this is the plugin the plugin called block CSS and what this does uh, this will show you a nice custom css box right inside the gutenberg editor and applies the css from there directly so we don't need to tweak a child theme fi files or anything else like that so i'll just refresh it and and now i click on this now you get a new custom css panel on every block on every block gutenberg block you'll see this panel so you just need to click on that and it gives you this 
nice little CSS box which is targeting the selector. The selector is basically auto generated uh, a class name like this. This was mine class. I'll remove it. So this is the class it has auto generated and now you can simply write your CSS right here and it gets applied instantly in the editor and if I update it it applies to the front end also perfect so this is a pretty cool way or pretty useful or instant way of writing or customizing styling your content or blog right inside the Gutenberg editor and you see the changes instantly you don't have to go to the a theme editor or style sheet editor uh, window and then come back to the here and refresh the page so you simply if you need some uh, customization or apply some custom css you just need to click on the blog and uh, you just need to click on the blog go to the custom css write the css background Okay, I should have done something wrong. Okay, so there you go. It gets supplied instantly. I hope uh, so. These are three ways you can either use a customizer, but that CSS does not reflect on the edit in the editor, and uh, but applies on the front end. The second option you can create a child team, and you can create a child team, and go to your theme editor and apply that styling in your child team css but that will not reflect in the editor as well unless you add that code in your child team which is register the editor styles and include the style sheet and the second last third and last option i came across is this blog css plugin which allows you to write your customer uh, custom css right inside the gutenberg editor and applies the changes instantly so that's great. Uh, hope you liked the video. Thank you. Follow Good Up for more videos and tutorials. Bye bye.